Jesus said to his friends one day, I am the way, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the truth, I am the life, I am the life. Be my disciple, come and follow me. Be my disciple, come and follow me. You are the way to a life of peace. You are the way to a life of joy. You are the way to a life of grace. You are the way to my heavenly home. I am the way, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the truth, I am the life, I am the life. Be my disciple, come and follow me, be my disciple, come and follow me. Hello. Welcome to the Children's Liturgy for the 18th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Do you remember that last week we talked about food? We talked about sharing food. We talked about a little boy who shared his bag lunch. And we talked about Jesus feeding over 5,000 people with food. So we're going to talk we're going to start by talking about food today again. See if you can guess what food I'm describing. Are you ready? It's white. It pops. Sometimes you put salt on it or a little butter. Did somebody say popcorn? I thought I heard you say popcorn. Yep, yep, yep. All right, it's flat. There's crust, there's sauce, and cheese. What do you think that is? Pizza, and you could put all kinds of toppings on top of pizza too, but. All right, how about this one? It comes from a tree. It's usually red when it's ripe, and it's crunchy. Not a tomato, no, no. Tomatoes don't come from trees, and it's not crunchy. An apple, that's right, an apple. All right, you're good at this. You could play this game at home. Make up the ways to describe the food and let people guess what they are. It's fun. All right, well, um, let's begin. I'll turn our little candle on here and say our opening prayer. Loving God, thank you for giving us many tasty things to eat. Without food for our bodies, we cannot live on this earth. And without food for our souls, we cannot live one day with you in heaven. Your word is food for our souls. We promise to listen carefully as you speak with us today. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Do you know who Moses was? Long ago, he led God's people from slavery in Egypt to freedom in the promised land. Soon after leaving Egypt, however, the people began running out of food in the middle of a desert. Here is what happened to them next. A reading from the book of Exodus. After the people of Israel had escaped from Egypt and were in the desert, they all started complaining to Moses and Aaron. They said, We wish the Lord had killed us in Egypt. When we lived there, 
we could at least sit down and eat all the bread and meat we wanted. But you have brought us here in the desert where we're going to starve to death. The Lord said to Moses, I will send bread down from heaven like rain for all of you. Each day, the people can go out and gather up only enough for that day. By doing this, I'll find out if they will obey me. I have heard my people complain. Now tell them that each morning they will have meat and each morning they will have more than enough bread. The people will know that I am the Lord their God. That evening, birds came and landed everywhere in the camp. The next morning, dew covered the ground. After the dew had gone, there were thin flakes that looked like frost all over the ground. The people had never seen anything like this and they started asking each other, what is it? Moses told them, this is the food that the Lord has given us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm today is, The Lord gave them bread from heaven. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. These are things we learned from our ancestors, and we won't keep secret the glorious deeds and the mighty miracles of the Lord. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. God gave a command to the clouds, and he opened the doors to the skies. From heaven, he sent grain that they called manna. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. He gave them more than enough and each one of them ate this special food. God brought his people to the sacred mountain. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. No one lives on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Last week, we heard of how Jesus fed a crowd at the end of the day of preaching. When night came, Jesus and his apostles sailed away across the lake. And what do you suppose happened after that? Today's gospel continues the story. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Gospel of John. Glory to you, O Lord. The people saw that Jesus and his disciples had left. Then they got into the boats and went to Capernaum to look for Jesus. They found him on the west side of the lake and asked, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered, I tell you for certain that you are not looking for me because you saw the miracles, 
but because you ate all the food you wanted. Don't work for food that spoils. Work for food that gives eternal life. The Son of Man will give you this food because God the Father has given him the right to do so. What exactly does God want us to do? The people asked. Jesus answered, God wants you to have faith in the one he sent. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Do you remember the first reading? The people were complaining because they didn't have anything to eat. They were in the desert. And what were the two foods they were missing the most? Do you remember? Bread and meat. They were missing bread and meat. Those are some of the things that our best meals are made of. Can you think of bread and meat that you like? Hot dogs, the meat goes in the bun. Hamburgers, the hamburger goes in the bun. Chicken sandwiches. Chicken fingers, they're breaded, chicken, meat, breaded, yeah. They like bread and meat. We like bread and meat. Did you ever notice when you're really hungry, a candy bar isn't going to do it. Even an ice cream cone isn't going to fill you up. It's not going to give you the energy you need to do the things that you want to do. Go swimming, go hiking, go camping. You can't camp on just s'mores. You need a hot dog. We need our bread. We need our meat. Pizza has pepperoni on it sometimes. Burritos. You have the wrap and then the stuffing. Because bread is such an important food, Jesus wants you to understand that he is the bread for your souls. Now think about what happened in the gospel today. Again, the people follow him. Do you remember again last week? He could have said, leave me alone. But he didn't. He taught them. And then he fed them. And then they followed him again. And this time he said to them, you didn't even follow me because of the miracles I performed. I made people well. People who were sick, I cured. People who were blind could see. People who were deaf could hear. But that's not why you followed me. You didn't follow me because of my teaching. I was teaching you about God and how he loves you. But that's not why you followed me. You followed me because I fed you and you had enough to eat and you're hungry again and you're hoping that I'll feed you. But we cannot live on food just for our bodies. We need food for our souls. And that's why Jesus came. Jesus came to bring us to heaven, to live with him and his father in heaven forever. And we need special food for that. We need food for our souls. And what is food for our souls? What is the food that Jesus gives us? Himself. Jesus gives him himself as a food for our souls. So when can we eat this food? Every time you go to Mass, if you have made your First Communion, you can receive the bread, which is the body of Christ. 
but there are other ways that we can feed our souls. And the most important one after Holy Communion is scripture, the liturgy. Every time we hear the words of God from the Bible, from the children's Bible, from the retelling of it from other people, word for word, listening to each other. We are hearing the word of God. That is what feeds our soul. What else after the word of God and Holy Communion can feed our souls? Nature. Look outside. Right now it is summertime here and it is beautiful. The world is full of God's loving gifts. Sure, we've had a lot of rain this summer, but have you seen some rainbows? And how do you feel when you see one? And do you remember that God used a rainbow after Noah's trip in the waters and the ark to promise to never flood the world with water again? God sends rainbows. God sends rain. God sends the sun. God created the trees and the birds and the animals and the beaches and the waters, the air, all the things that we love outside this time of year, God created. And so when you're out there enjoying all of these beautiful things, remember, they are gifts from God. Your family gifts from God. All of the things that you love, God has given you. And when you keep that in mind, that feeds your soul. So just as you take time every day to eat good food that will make you strong and healthy, you should also take time every day to take Jesus into your soul. Now we're going to have our profession of faith. You are going to answer, I believe in God. I believe in God, almighty and all loving, who sends us bread from heaven. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus the Lord, who is the true bread that comes from heaven. I believe in God. I believe in God the Holy Spirit, who shows us the way to heaven. I believe in God. In today's Gospel, Jesus said, don't work for food that spoils, work for food that gives eternal life. Let's ask the Lord Jesus then to feed us with true bread from heaven. Our response to each petition will be, you are our living bread. You are our wine, Lord Jesus Christ. Let's try that. You are our living bread. You are our wine, Lord Jesus Christ. That the bread of life will strengthen the leaders of the church, let us pray to the Lord. You are our bread of life. You are our wine. Lord Jesus Christ. That the bread of life will strengthen the members of our parish. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our living bread. You are our wine. Lord Jesus Christ. That the bread of life will strengthen the hungry and the weak. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our living bread. You are our wine, Lord Jesus Christ.
Now, if you have someone or something that you would like to pray for today, please do that now. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our living bread. You are our wine, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, stay with us and our spirits will never be hungry. Stay with us forever. Amen. Take time each day to let Jesus into your soul. You are the truth that helps me see. You are the truth that I must see. You are the truth that stirs my heart. You are the truth that makes us one. I am the way. I am the way. I am the truth, I am the truth, I am the life, I am the life. Be my disciple, come and follow me. Be my disciple, come and follow me. You are the life that calls my name. You are the life that gives me strength. You are the life that sets me free. You are the life that flows in me. I am the way. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the truth. I am the life. I am the life. Be my disciple.